good morning students i am your nagini ma'am so today i am going to discuss about seven types of crystal systems how to remember the seven types of crystal systems i will give you the best trick students okay just one shortcut i will tell you okay according to that uh, just you remember you can easily uh, you can easily remember all the types of crystal system students okay so seven types of crystal systems or seven types of unit cells now we are going to discuss clear so first i am going to tell you what is the unit cell what is the unit cell what is unit cell students it is the smallest repeating unit of the crystal lattice correct it is the smallest repeating unit of the crystal lattice is called unit cell right so first i will write definition it is the smallest repeating unit of the crystal lattice okay crystal lattice is called unit cell clear this is smallest repeating unit of the crystal lattice okay now i'm taking the unit cell students see here diagram this is unit cell okay now here i'm taking this one I'm considering as x axis this is y axis and this is z axis clear this is x axis y axis z axis right now i'm taking the axial lengths okay suppose this is and uh, this axial length is a this axial length is b and this axial length is c okay so what no no a b c are the axial lengths clear axial lengths okay now i want to uh, i want axial angles okay axial angles uh, are represented by alpha beta gamma nana these are axial angles okay axial angles now see i want to ab uh, i want suppose ab ab axial angle i want ab means here a down alpha b down beta is there na just you close this to ab bond angle is how much ab axial angle is gamma okay okay understanding students this exactly down just you close it then ab bond angle is how much axial angle gamma so ab 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 angle is how much students this is gamma okay this is gamma now i want bc now see i want bc bond bc axial angle bc i want that's why bc down beta gamma is there just beta gamma just you close it bc axial angle is how much students this is alpha bc axial angle is alpha so bc axial angle how much students alpha clear now i want uh, ac okay now i'm taking ac okay ac axial angle i want a down alpha is there c down gamma is there this too close then what is the ac bond ac axial angle students beta kada so here i am taking ac axial angle is beta clear how to take understood i want ab uh, ab axial angle so that's why ab down alpha beta just i am closing then ab axial angle is gamma bc i want bc down just to close this to bc what is the remaining alpha so bc axial angle is alpha i want ac axial angle now just down a and down c just to close what is the axial angle of ac beta clear this one so like this you have to take the axial angle students now based on the different uh, based on the values of uh, alpha beta gamma and uh, a b c okay so based on the a b c and alpha beta gamma based on the values of a b c alpha beta gamma okay there are seven types of crystal systems okay students how many types students based on the 
based on the values of alpha, beta, gamma. There are seven types of crystal systems. Okay. Understanding students, there are seven types of crystal system students. Now I am giving the short uh, small trick students. Just you have to remember that one. Then you can easily uh, remember the all the crystal types. Okay, crystal systems type students. Here CTO HRMT. What is the trick student? CTO HRMT. Just you remember this one CTO HRMT. What is CTO HRMT? Now I am going to discuss. So, first one is crystal systems. So, first heading side heading uh, crystal system. Next one possible variations. Next axial lengths axial angles okay next last examples this is this table is very very important students by competitive exams okay now so crystal systems possible variations axial lens so first uh, what is c cto hrmt kada cto hrmt right students so what is c this CTO HRMT, I told you, shortcut, correct? CTO HRMT. What is C students? Cubic system. T means tetragonal system. O means orthorhombic system. H means hexagonal system. R means rhombohedral. Okay. M means monoclinic. T means triclinic system, students. So, first, I will write that all. First one cubic system c means what students cubic system and matter okay cubic system how many possible variations in the cubic system students possible variations primitive body centered face centered primitive body center face centered okay face centered three possible variations are there in cubic system clear this one so here in the u here in solid state we are discussing about the cubic system so that's a primitive is nothing but simple cubic unit cell body centered fcc this three only we are discussing in the cubic unit cell understanding students only cubic system we are discussing remaining systems we are not discussing students only cubic system we are discussing so okay and axial lens so what about the axial lens students in a, uh, in a cubic system a is equal to b equal to c that means A, B, C axial lengths are equal students. A, 3 axial lengths so are equal only. Axial angles. What about axial angles students? Alpha, beta, gamma is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, now all values are same. Equal to 90 degrees. So what are the examples we can take students? Zinc, blend, NaCl, copper, diamond, KCl. Okay, such type of uh, uh, examples we have to take examples are very very important in the case of uh, competitive exam students but how much you can remember that is up to you students okay so but examples are very important axial length axial angles also important examples zinc blend formula zinc sulfide NaCl copper diamond KCL etc. So these are the examples for QB system students. That means these compounds are exhibiting which type of system? The QB system. Okay, this one. Now coming to the second type students, T. T indicates what? Tetragonal system. Tetra, tetragonal system. Now see students in tetragonal system, what are the possible variations? Primitive body centered. Primitive body centered. What is T students? Tetragonal system. Tetragonal system. Clear? How many axial lengths are there in tetragonal system? A is equal to B, not equal to C. That means AB distances axial lengths are equal, but BC 
it is different that means c angle is different but a b axial lengths are equal c length is different students and coming to the axial angles alpha beta gamma is equal to 90 degrees same only what are the examples we can take white tin okay tin oxide sno2 titanium oxide calcium sulfate so these are the examples students white tin tin oxide titanium oxide calcium sulfate okay now i'm going to take third one what is o students orthorhombic orthorhombic system what are the possible variations in orthorhombic primitive body centered next face centered edge centered edge edge centered clear so total four possible variations are there what are the axial lengths here a is not equal to b not equal to c that means three axial lengths are not equal students that means three are different and matter three different axial lengths will be there and coming to the axial angle students what are the axial angles alpha beta gamma equal to 90 degrees here what are the example students we can take rhombic sulfur rhombic sulfur potassium nitrate barium sulfate calcium carbonate okay so this examples we can take students calcium carbonate rhombic sulfur potassium nitrate barium sulfate calcium carbonate clear this one calcium carbonate right and coming to the fourth one fourth one orthorhombic is completed kada now i'm going to discuss fourth one hexagonal fourth one hexagonal now coming to the hexagonal system students here what are the possible variations only primitive okay primitive and what are the axial lengths a is equal to b not equal to c and axial angle students alpha beta equal to 90 degrees gamma equal to 120 degrees students alpha beta bond angle axial axial angle is same 90 degrees but gamma is equal to 120 degrees examples what we can take students graphite okay graphite next uh, zinc oxide cadmium sulfide next ice silver iodide clear this one silver iodide so these are the examples of hexagonal system now coming to the fifth one fifth one is rhombohedral rhombohedral what is the uh, possible variation students here here also primitive only primitive will be there and coming to the values axial lengths a equal to b equal to c alpha equal to beta equal to gamma is not equal to 90 degrees and here example students calcite calcite formula ca co3 clear and next kmno4 next mercury sulfide hgs and nano3 arsenic okay and bismuth also we can take so in this all we can take um rhombohedral example students once again calcite calcite formula CaCO3 KMnO4 HGS HGS is mercury sulfide this is also calling as cinnabar what we'll call cinnabar mercury sulfide clear this is about the fifth one and coming to the sixth uh, sixth one monoclinic monoclinic system what are the possible variations students primitive end centered coming to the axial lengths a is not equal to b not equal to c that means a b c lengths are not equal students okay now next alpha gamma value is equal to 90 degrees but beta is not equal to 90 degrees coming to the examples monoclinic sulfur next sodium sulfate and a2so4 10 water molecules and lead chromates pbcro4 okay so this is the these are the examples of monoclinic system now coming to the seventh one triclinic 
dry cleaning system here what are the possible variations primitive and here a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha value beta value not equal to gamma also not equal to 90 and matter 90 degrees example students b o h thrice boron trihydro trihydroxide and k2 cr2 o7 potassium dichromate copper sulfate copper sulfate so these are the examples of dry cleaning system students now see total how many how many i told you students here total cto hrmt this is the shortcut student cto hrmt in cto hrmt first one is c means qb system t means tetragonal system ortho rhombic hexagonal rhombohedral monoclinic triclinic systems so this one based on the values of abc alpha beta gamma there are seven types of crystal systems and here most important question is most symmetrical system arrow and what is the most unsymmetrical system most symmetrical system means if you see the QB system axial lengths all are equal axial angles also all are equal to 90 degrees so all are equal kana that's it is the most symmetrical system students this is arrow most most symmetrical system so this is the most symmetrical system cubic system it is a most symmetrical system what is the most unsymmetrical system unsymmetrical system means all are unequal see this one here uh, the triclinic system a b c values all are not equal and alpha beta gamma also not equal to 90 degrees that means they are equal to different uh, angles and matter so that's why this is the most uh, unsymmetrical system most unsymmetrical system clear this one so most symmetrical system is cubic system most unsymmetrical system is triclinic system students this is the just you remember this uh, shortcut this is the shortcut students cto hrmt then you can easily you can easily remember this all examples are very important that is how many you can remember that is up to you students okay but try to uh, remember maximum example students from this topic uh, example so axial and so axial angles are very very important okay uh, okay thank you students i hope you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe my channel thank you students